Hvala, brad Antoni. Hvala. Brad Pele, I've been, uh, well, I've been around, I, when, when I, look, let me put it this way. I used to attend a lot of lectures, you know, not only in schools, but out in the community. And one of the uh, lectures I used to uh, attend came out uh, every Saturday in New York, up on Convent Avenue, uh, 145th Street there. That's a thing called uh, the First World Alliance. And that's with Dr. Ben and uh, Leonard Jeffries and, and uh, uh, Ivan Van Sertema, a bunch of scholars. Uh, uh, Amos Wilson, incredible educator. A lot of these people would come constantly. My main man, Dr. Jeff, well, uh, Professor James Small, uh, or all. And they would, every week they would give these lectures, different featured speaker, you know, uh, uh, Rosalind Jeffries, a lot, a lot of people, um, Francis Tress Wilson, those kind of people. <laughs> At one point, uh, there's several books out, and uh, you know, they're fiercely, uh, 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 let's call it uh, African mentality center, you know, they, they're in America, but they're, you know, they was the first people I learned about Sheikh Anta Diop, people like that, you know, up there in Senegal. Anyway, so they're scholars, basically, and they give, they give their research and their findings out in this public forum every week. This I mean, it must have been like three years, I mean, or two or three years. I used to record them and everything like that. But um, I bring this up only because um, there's this thing. Uh, what's the problem? You have all these, you know, so-called uh, uh, cultures. Let's call them cultures. They call racial classification of cultures in the world. It seems like the only culture that really messes things up is like the culture that, uh, you know, everybody comes from Africa, but you know, they sort of spread out, you know. My, my conjecture, conjecture, one of those big words, academic words, it may not be used right, but my conjecture is that we all came from Lake Victoria as slugs, you know, and developed from there. I'm talking about evolution. Now, a lot of times you see, you see that the, 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 they go from the chimp, and there's this famous painting, you know, that goes from, you see a chimp that goes up to man, ape, 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 the man. So everybody thinks that, you know, we, we come from apes. <laughs> well, not everybody, but a lot of people, because of that depiction, that art, <laughs> culture is always a man. They think, you know, we come from, we descended from apes, and then you, oh, we can't possibly come from apes. But that's not the point. Our closest cousins, they said, basically, genetically, is, is this chimpanzee, the, 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 the Babona, this is chimpanzee, it's, this, this monkey down here. But that doesn't mean we come from monkeys. It's like you just branch off, the slug became this and that, and blah, blah, blah. But people don't get to that. They do the art thing. I digress. Let me get back to the point. So anyway, uh, if you think about it, as people go, when you go further north and you get these cold winters and whatever have you, and you and say you do live in a cave, because that's your, your warmth, you know, you, 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 you live in a cave for the winter months, like, like a bear, you got to hibernate. Meanwhile, in Africa, you know, you got trees, you got whatever, you don't, you, it, it wasn't living in a cave, like, like this, it looked, the sun, people, you know, the place on people, you know, came down and down from Botswana and down to uh, Plattenburg, you know, all South Africa and stuff like that, you know. They only use their caves for drawings. <laughs> it's like the first museums, you know what I mean? <laughs> Basically, they lived out, in, you know, because you could live out there, you know. And then you had a choice if you want to beat up on a lion, you could, or if you just want to take eat fruit, <laughs> you did that, or you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I bring that up to say, think about it. If you're living in a cave, you know, and you've got to protect everything you got because of scarcity or whatever have you, then you have a, you develop a different mentality and you living out in the open plains and you can just, you know, go to the river, get some water anytime you want, da, 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 whatever it is. You, you have to develop a different mentality, a different culture, you see, even a different way of talking, you know. So I think what happens, these, the, the, these uh, let's call them from the Caucasoids, you know, way up there in Russia, the Caucasoids, now those people that came, that, that went there and they came back down with their mentality of hoarding, of, of, you know, I gotta protect everything. Anything that comes, I gotta kill, whatever have you. In fact, I gotta kill first, because I don't know if that thing is gonna hurt me or not, you know? First, you go out there in the plains or whatever, you know, in jungles and forests, you know, like, hey, something's coming, let me hide behind this tree, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> or let me climb the tree, you know, so you, you can get away. But you up there in the wild north and whatever, you, you know, you, you can't go anyplace. So your mentality develops differently. And I think as it goes on, you know, they, they call them the ice people, as they keep on going down, you keep that mentality. 
you always got to strike out first. You got to accuse somebody first. You can't be, basically, you lose your humanity because you have to protect your humanity. I know that sounds strange, but you have to protect your humanness with force versus just, hey, let me protect my humanness by just skirting around this thing that's, you know, bothering me. So anyway, that's what I think. So I think the problem with the world today is people, you know, you no longer have to live in the cave. So get rid of that cave mentality, that hoarding mentality, that, you know, you got to strike out first mentality. You know, you've got to get them before they get me mentality. That could be, I just don't stop. <laughs> stop that. You're messing up the fabric of the world. Anyway, this, this is one of these uh, dispatches. Uh, that would be from the arts director of America. This is, that would be me, T, from the Patterson, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm-hmm.